Welcome to the Got Math class. Let's make math so easy. Hello everyone, I'm your teacher for this question. The question says in the following exercises, use the divisibility test to determine whether each number is divisible by 2, by 3, by 5, by 6, and by 10. And the number that's given is 264 or 264. So this is the number. And we're asked to use the divisibility test to determine, to determine whether 264 is divisible by these five numbers. So these five numbers. What this means is actually if we divide 264 by these five numbers, if the remainder is, is equal to zero. If it's equal to zero, then if RME is equal to a remainder, which stands for remainder, is equal to zero, then it's divisible by that number. Divisible by that number. And otherwise, it's not. Okay, so very simple. And consider it's a very long calculation. We should go through this question together. Okay, so we first do 264 over 2. So we simply we should get 1 over 2 and we have 64. So we should have 32 in order to have 64 and the remainder is 0. So 2 is then is one of the answer. And next we do 3. So we should have 8 right here, so in order to have 24, which is the closest to 26. And what's left is 24 again. Now we just put 8 right here, and we should have the remainder 0 as well. So 3 is another answer. And let's do 5 next. So 5. So let's do 5. We can multiply by 5. We get 25 right here. Um, what's left is 14, and we can put 2 here, and we'll have 10, and 40 becomes 52.40, in you know, order to have 0. Uh, remember, also, sorry, also, we can, we can divide this, and we can get a number, which is 52.8, However, it does not mean this is divisible. This is dividable by five because we need a whole number. Okay, we need a whole number in order to say that two uh, sixty-four is divisible by five. But right here we have we have a decimal right here, so it's not divisible by this by five. Okay, all right. Next we test six. We can put a 4 here, so 4 times 6 is equal to 24. And we have 24 again, so we just put 6 right here. So 24 and is equal to 0. So four, 6 is another number, is another answer. And last, we have 10. Well, it's very easy to do this because uh, 2 6 over 10 is equal to 26.4. We just move the decimal place one place to the left and you get something like this and also we can see that it's not a whole number we have a decimal right here so let's say that 10 is not one of the answer so 264 is not divisible by 10 okay so only whole numbers so the answer has to be whole numbers has to be whole numbers or integers right to be more specific integers integers okay in order to be in order to let uh, 264 can be divided by that one okay so two three six and four i'm uh, sorry two oh this is very very mis very easy to misunderstand so 264 so we should have a circle or underline right here in order to have okay so 
Uh, from the question, we know that 2, 3, and 6, these three numbers are the answers, and 264 is divisible by these three numbers, 2, 3, and 6, because after division, What's left, is, which means the remainder is zero, and also the answer is a whole number. So meeting these two conditions means that it should be the answer. Uh, what's the takeaway for this question is how to solve question like this. How to determine whether a number is divisible by the other number. We just need to do the division and see if the remainder is equal to zero and if the answer is a whole number. That's the two steps, okay? So that's all for this question. See you in the next video.